Hello, welcome back to Georgie B's Cards and Stuff. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using stamp sets forever and always. And all I'm doing is using this little flower and this small leaf. And I've used the die out of quite curvy, this die which I've already done and never cleaned afterwards and peaceful moments I'm going to use that happy birthday I don't like this so I've changed the shape there um, the papers I've got blank card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eight scored at four and one eighth folded in half a piece of cherry cobbler at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, a piece of the tartan plaid papers at three and five eighths by five and three eighths, and that will go there. As you notice, there's a piece cut out which will is the new shape for this. I've also got a piece of um white card at five, 5 and 3 eighths by 3 and 5 eighths and I've used the die and sliced it in half and that will sit on top of the plaid like that. Now when we stamp the sentiment we will cut out using the Stitch those sweetly dies and using that die, let's get it out ready. And once we've cut it out, huh, I've made a mess of all the other ones. It will sit inside there. It won't be sticking up, it's a flat card. So we're going to be using that and we'll use it on there, scrap paper. So to get started, let's do our stamping. Right. First of all we're going to stamp our flowers using Memento Black Ink and I have got a couple of masks. No, don't use Memento Black Ink for the flowers. We use, well I need to get it, Cherry Cobbler. I didn't get it out. Make sure that's clean. And we just ink it up in Cherry Cobbler. I'm just trying to think, oh, that one was first. And we'll stamp one there. And place a mask over it. Ink it up and stamp another one there. As you can see, there's a little bit on top of it. Mask that up, and then another one there. Right, I've only got two masks, so we'll be moving these about when we do the leaves. I ended up throwing the third one away. Right, with our leaves. We're going to well that one didn't stump very well. Like that. Just put two per flower. Um like that. And then move this mask. Then at 
stamp in another again. That's it. Take the mask off. And that is our flower arranging done. Now, with a blend pen, first mark, oh, wrong one. This one. A blend pen. This one is a Tombow blend pen. All I'm going to do is just draw the ink out of the stamp and colour in the leaves. Saves you um, you can see I've just lifted some of the red there. Oh, right. And colored in the reds, er, uh, greens, and now we're going to colour in the flower. And all I've done, all I do is just draw up the cherry cobbler and colour in each of the flowers. Hard to see under this light where I'm colouring because it's shining because it's wet obviously. Around, I can actually see what I've missed. And depending on how much ink is on each petal will depend how dark the petal is. So there we are. That one. seen bits of mist. But there is our um, flower done. Cleaning off my pen. It's nice and clean. So we'll put that to one side to dry. Now we need to stamp our happy birthday and this is in black. Stamp that right in the middle because that's going to be cut out using this die like that. Take it 
take that down and then I'll have to chop that bit off because it's too big. And run that through my sidekick. There's our happy birthday sign. Sign sentiment. Pop this away. And we'll start gluing this together. So let's glue this on our cherry cobbler. Loads of this paper left still. That's always the case, isn't it? Always left with loads when it retires. this down before I put it on the cherry cobbler. Right, see if I can get this down. Oh, no bother. And then this one. All we do is sit this inside oh, can't get it in now. There you are. And that makes it flat. Right, the only thing I haven't got with me is the dots. Let me go and get the stamp set for the dots. Front. Right. I don't want that. Now, all I did on this was I only inked half of the dots, so I didn't want more. And I put a bit of protection down because I did this like this last time, decided I needed dots and I put some there. Just protecting the white card. Some there. Some there, and that's all I did on that. And that is your card done. Hope you like it. Different colours, and that's different as well. 
just shows you using the same tools but you get different colours or different shapes um, yeah if you like it give us a thumbs up you're more than welcome to share my videos and please leave a comment um, if you'd like to see more of my videos please subscribe and if you press the bell icon you'll be notified by YouTube hopefully of any new videos I upload which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday or like I say thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon